Viewer discretion is advised. If you just know you're that girl, yeah. you just have no choice but to be that girl. And I feel like I'm that girl. What if you don't wake up feeling like that girl? How do you be that girl? You need to go back to sleep and wake back up again so you can feel like that girl. There you have it, child. That's why I feel like I'm the T. I feel like I'm the T because I work at being the T. <laughs> like, no shade. I'm not the T just because a bunch of bitches like me and live for me because we all homegirls. I'm the T because I'm the motherfucking T. And that's just sad. <laughs> like, like, I, I mean, that's just what it is. People legit in the world love to live for food. Love, 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 love to live for food. You love to live for your bald head homegirl that do bald head home shit. Like, like it's like it's clear that I'm I'm working at being the sea soldier. Let me be the sea. <laughs> like give me that. Give me my flowers. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you haven't had a chance to do so by now, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And to go a step further, please tap the notification bell. That way you'll be updated each and every time I'm uploading something new. Um, also, make sure you're following me on Instagram at ybent.tv, as well as my business page at Tika Naturals. And if you'd like to donate to the channel in a monetary way, please feel free to do so. I'll make sure to put everything in the description box for easy access. First, we have to talk about the Aries Spears and Tiffany Haddish. And I reverse their names because we love to put the bigger name first. Tiffany Haddish has been dragged through the muck and moral clay of this thing called Life Child. But we're, we keep on forgetting to group Aries Spears' old decrepit face ass in this lawsuit as well. But I guess it doesn't matter no more because the lawsuit has been dismissed without prejudice. Which means the case cannot be opened again. And I find it funny that it was at the behest of the plaintiffs, the so-called victims, girl. We're so traumatized, girl. We were exploited, girl. Our mother's home, girl, the family friend, can now be trusted again because a financial set a settlement, an undisclosed amount, mind you, which is usually the case in these kind of situations, So money, I posted this the other day when the news came out. So money speaks louder than victims' cries. And this is what I have to say. Shame on these so-called victims. Shame on them for this prime example of a shakedown. Shout out to Aries Spears, old decrepit faced ass, because he said it. This is a shakedown. And apparently, <laughs> money can cure you from your trauma. That's all it took. But I thought you guys were forever destroyed by this. Your lives are forever changed by what these evil, evil people did to you. Well, that shmoney talks, baby. That, that shmoney talks, honey. What I don't like about this is... In the beginning of this... You drug these people through the muck and moral clay of life. Hello, God. Said how traumatized y'all were behind the situation. We trusted T Tiffany Haddish because she was a close friend of the family. Then she's all kinds of evil raggedy bitches which we're not going to disagree with. What Aries Spears and Tiffany Haddish did is deplorable as fuck. But these so-called victims are working my damn nerves. And I'm going to talk about it. The victim, Jane Doe, approaches the court, tells the judge 
that we have came up with a settlement, basically. We can dust our hands of this situation because we love Tiffany Haddish. She's been a longtime family friend. We know that she would do nothing to hurt us or expose us to anything that would hurt us and yeah, 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 yeah. But that's contradictory to what your grievance was that started this whole train of chaos. But that shmoney talks. All is forgiven if the coin is right. If I was Tiffany Haddish, I would do everything in my power to find the greasiest lawyer that I can find to see if there's some type of loophole. You defamed me. You drugged my name. Tiffany even came out and said that she lost all her gigs because of this situation. She has no work right now. These people, what I'm stuck on, and I hope y'all get where I'm coming from. And if you don't, it just, it's cool. You sat there in the beginning and said these people were these monsters. You were forever traumatized by what happened to you by way of so-called trusted individuals. Let it be told for a while now, you guys have been trying to get what you thought you were owed from your so-called trauma. I find it funny that we wait until Tiffany Haddish has these huge bouts of success to finally go after her. Because let's be honest here, if you're a no-name and you got a little something to your name, don't nobody really want to try you on that. Let's go ahead and milk this cow. for we'll, we'll, we'll lie and wait because we know there's no real statute of limitations on these types of um, you know grievances, girl. Hello, God. Let us go ahead and wait, see where her tra the trajectory of her career goes. Now that she is this girl, now is the time to strike her pockets. That is what I truly, truly believe right now. Because ba you were the thought, didn't they make it seem like that they wanted to stand up and make some noise for the kids that have been wronged in similar situations? I represent all the girls that stood up. Used to drink water with a little bit of sugar. Shout out to Nikki, bitch. We thought you was trying to represent for the other traumatized girls so they can feel your pain. So the girls will start speaking up for themselves, feel like they're not alone in the world. Forgive me if that, obviously that wasn't your intention, but like, I know not everybody needs to be a voice for the, you know, the voiceless, but when you come out the way that you come out, that is what people assume. I would have just read the job just kept it real, girl. We tired of eating Raymond noodles, girl. We tired of these bologna, fried bologna sandwiches, girl, with no bread. Hello, God. That we are tired of eating roach skeletons, girl, because we are hungry. Auntie Tiffany then made it big time and oh, we forgot about that video they had us do. So maybe we can go ahead and exploit this fish. Hello, God. And then another thing is Tiffany Haddish fronting the bill for Aries Spears. I know I said he was broke a while back, but I'm quite sure he done made a cute little coin throughout his decrepit career. And I don't like the fact that we keep on putting, I know she's the bigger name and that's what, you know, media is going to do. But I don't like how they keep using her first. Ari Spears played a major part in a lot of the foolishness that, it, that you know, was going on in this situation. But we're going to put it all on Tiffany. Because she's the bigger name. She has more to lose and she's lost everything. Someone needs to drag these victims, girl. Not Jason Lee, because he's trying to expose girls' personal information. I'm talking about, like, something's... Girl, the money is the root of all evil. And that's on that. Um, 
that actually hmm, segues perfectly into the next piece of commentary, girl. We got to talk about this Ray J in the versus the Kardashians, bitch. Speaking of money being the root to all evil, girl, let's go to the gym, girl. I got to go. I got to go. <clears throat> bitch so i didn't really know the full extent of what was going on with the kardashians and ray j girl but apparently <clears throat> one of the episodes of the kardashians shows pussy ass kanye west trying to do this huge gesture for kim because we all know that Kim Kardashian and the family was so traumatized by the fame, f glory, and fortune that sucking big black dick brought the family, honey. They're so traumatized by all their riches, girl, that they and the notoriety, the jump start to this lavish life that they have now. That infamous sex tape, girl. So I guess Kanye met up with Ray J, girl and made a deal to go ahead and give the original footage, the hard drives and things of that nature to Kanye and Kanye gifted it to Kim. Because again, Kim is so hurt by this. Girl, please, I'd be hurt too <laughs> if I couldn't suck no dick. Hello. Huh. Because as we, that video was, that was the one of the worst porns ever, girl. Can we even call it porn? Girl, please. Girl, please. Uh-uh. So, that aired, I guess, and that ruffled some feathers. She went to crying, girl, and oh, for my kids, for my kids, my kids. Girl, Ray J got kids, too. But let's talk about it real quick. So, what I don't like about this situation is the fact the Kardashians try to shy away from the fact that they are not the creators of the bullshit that they bring into their life. That they actually always have had the privilege to capitalize off of. This has to be the only real family in like social media um, slash reality television, television history that has been able to truly capitalize off of all of the dark shit that has happened to them. And all of that dark shit is by their design. And that's probably why they've been able to capitalize off it because it's, they, they control the narrative. If we create this dark cloud of confusion, chaos, hello gone, we can control the narrative. Think about it, even when the bitch got robbed over there overseas girl in Patty or wherever the fuck that was, they capitalized the hell off of that moment girl. And Kris Jenner is the pale horse. Hello, God. She's the Geppetto. She is the puppet master, bitch, behind all of this bullshit. And come to find out, Kris Jenner was the one who set up, we always kind of knew it, though. She's the one who set up the whole sale of the sex tape. Her signature is on all of the documents. She even reviewed the tape and chose which particular tape that they need to sell to Vivid Entertainment. Girl. If you ask me, y'all conspired with the devil to kill your father, to leech off of his life insurance policy. You got with Mr. Uh, what's his name, honey? I want to be a woman now. Hello, God. Bruce Jenner at first, girl, now she's Caitlyn Jenner. Probably always knew she wanted to be trans, but again, controlling narratives. Look at the rollout for Caitlyn. That rollout was so professional, girl. Yes, the hell it was. That's probably why she was so depressed. Remember the stories that the kids would tell I used to wake up in the morning to get a drink of water and I would see my father dressed in woman's clothing. We never said anything. Now y'all telling all the business? Y'all been knew that was a woman, bitch. We could tell in the show. Who's comfortable looking like a scarecrow, bitch? 
doing everything in his power to overman himself, child, unkept ass. You waited until being transgender was a popular thing to exploit his story. And that's exactly why he don't really fuck with y'all like that now. You y'all forced that man to hot. Well, not really forced because anybody can do what they want to do. But something if, I'm telling y'all, something has not been right with that family, girl. How do you go? Kim Kardashian, let's be real, girl. You started off as Paris Hilton's wardrobe stylist, girl. You organized her fucking closet for crying out loud. How do we go from that to hanging in the club? So this is why you don't hang out with the help, child. Because they end up becoming a bigger name than you later on in life. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but there's something wrong with that when it happens in the way that the Kardashians were able to maneuver themselves. Girl, these people did anything for clout. They still do anything for clout. Still don't know why they are who they are. You had to sell something, and I'm not just talking about math and mouth and puss. I'm talking about souls, bitch. They are the literal definition of nothing to something. Okay, yes, your daddy was the famous lawyer who um, was on the case with Johnny Cochran, girl, who helped, you know, what's that bitch name again, girl? I forgot his name. OJ Simpson, get off. It doesn't really qualify you to be those girls, to be that family. We've already seen all these ugly bitches turn overnight into fucking pretty bitches. Well, if y'all call that pretty, God bless. Big ass fake cheekbones, big ass plump lips, fake ass everything. If y'all call that pretty, that's on you. And even that too, the fact that these women have been able to take over what the standard of beauty should be considered in this country, in the world. They are the reason these girls are out here falling to their deaths because of these BBLs that have been, girl, that have, <laughs> these fucking cement injections, girl. These girls look like they have bricks in their pockets. These girls are out here built like a ghetto Eiffel Tower, bitch. But that's all, there's also something to be said about society. Y'all go up for this shit. They're popular because of y'all. Not y'all, but you know what I'm talking about. Entertainers, rappers, fucking actors, all of the people that dwell in that realm, TV ratings are just that, ratings based on viewership. So you girls are going up for that shit. Y'all talk about Zeus Network but they're number one, two, or three now because of your guys' interaction with the platform. But we want to get mad at these people, girl, when we low-key condone this foolishness. We have made these people million billionaires, girl. So that's also something to be said about us. It's horrible, girl. That's the cheat code to life. Be so fucking outrageous, chaotic and drama filled to the point where it's entertainment worthy. Think about these reality shows. There's no real complex concepts anymore. Everything is very simple. As long as you have drama and flair and bitches who look good. Like, come on now. It's not fair to the people who are really working hard at their shit. Put a lot of investment, a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of focus into their craft. People who are quiet that stay in the cut but still want to be successful. We don't support them. We support that loud, crazy shit. 
It's horrible. And y'all wonder why all, and then y'all y'all be the main ones talking about, oh girl, that's just too much, that's too much. Well, if it was too much, then no one will watch it. How are these platforms successful? How are these people successful if everyone so-called hates it? And it's a plight on humanity. The effort y'all put into de degrading and being so nasty about the new Little Mermaid, I wish y'all put that same energy into disliking white privilege and all that accompanies that. Cause these, let me tell you some of the Kardashians, we're Romanian, no girl, y'all are white bitch. Y'all ain't never been to Romania, girl, probably girl, in your life. And you let people, some people tell it, legend has it, allegedly, that one of y'all ancestors sold they soul, girl, so that y'all could forever have fame, beauty, and fortune. The beauty part is trash because naturally speaking, ain't none of y'all was ever beautiful. Y'all look like white trailer trash. Y'all was two hits away from becoming meth heads, girls. Beverly hillbilly, squidbilly type bitches. Especially the two younger girls. What's their name? The Jenner bitches. I always say when we talk about the Kardashians, they're the perfect example of, bitch, you're not ugly, you're just poor. Girl, please. Man, even in the morning, it's busy in this bitch now. Golly, nigga. Y'all ain't got to go to work. Like, seriously. Girl. And I'll never just say something to Ray J real quick. Child, shut the fuck up. These are rich people problems at this point. Because, Ray, don't you have a bunch of money? Didn't you make a bunch of money selling that, you know, that, that Walmart brand ass electronics of yours, girl? Like, you know, you got toys and all kinds of shit. You got money now, honey. Like, I get it. Defend yourself. But, like, these, I don't cry to the public about your shit. Because let me tell y'all something about y'all black men who later on after the Kardashian cursed and got a hold of your ass... Now y'all want to speak out and you want to release tea and all this other shit. You got to take responsibility for your actions too, honey. Y'all know what the tea is all. Reggie Bush, the other one who got dumped after 32 days, girl. Um, um, Kanye, Pete Davidson's old uh, decrepit ass. All the Lamar Odom, girl, please. Um, who else? Child, I wanna, what does Rob have to say? Because I find it funny, all the women in the Kardashians are successful, but the men have suffered. Y'all daddy done passed on the glory, girl. Rob done turned into a turtle. A, sick, a permanent sick and shut in, girl. Y'all tried to capitalize off of him and Black China's old foolishness, but he wasn't with the shits like y'all be with the shits. I know Kris Jenner was mad. She knows that ghetto bitch was going to bring a lot of views. For all we know, Kris Jenner was the one that was telling Black China to beat his ass and to threaten him and do all this weird shit to get the ratings up. Mm -hmm. I want to say this. Shout out to Nadia. Um, a while back, um, she included this in an order of mine. And when I tell you, this is everything. This is, oh, it's called, um, it's uh, Sincerely Yours Nadia Coconut Lemongrass. It's an all-natural perfume oil. And girl, when I mean, this shit is so good. Shout out to Nadia. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm, we're, we're not going to see her act like these black men that get involved with the Kardashians don't have to take responsibility. Because I don't cry for you, bitch. All of y'all got money. All of y'all know these girls' history. They're whores. They sell themselves to the highest bidder. They create drama and foolishness and exploit it and capitalize off of it. Like we talked about in the beginning. Y'all continue to feed into these bitches. Girl, please.
please. And when the last time we ain't heard Kim Kardashian save no black men or women lately? What's up with that, girl? I'd love to know. What's up with that? Go ahead and advocate for that girl up in um what is that, Ohio? She killed um El Teddy was talking about a child. Uh, she was sex trafficked and she ended up killing the guy who was doing her wrong child and they gave that girl five years probation and she got to pay the family restitution girl like what the hell like no go out Kim Kong y'all need to start using y'all platforms for the better Chloe you are where are you still helping fat bitches lose weight or are you still going back and forth with Tristan the one the serial cheater girl you still going back and forth What's the other one, Courtney? Yo, dumbass. You still, you still with Travis Barker, girl? You still fucking your ex homegirl's husband, girl? I heard y'all trying to have thousands of babies and stuff, and it's just not working out right now. Well, that's God trying to tell your ass something, bitch. Your pussy is done. Your uterus is done. It's been done. Where's Scott at? Probably done drunk himself somewhere to death, child. He's just over it, too. That's why y'all never liked him, because he always kept the real on y'all ass. He got sucked into the void as well. But y'all keep him close because you know he knows all the tea. Huh. Y'all keep him close, heavily medicated and drunk. Y'all took advantage of that man, especially when he lost his whole family, girl. You know he ain't got nobody now. When his mom and dad died, child, it was over. But I don't feel bad for none of these men because y'all are stupid. Fall in the trap of these black widow bitches. They literally have done nothing for the culture. Nothing. Anyway, that's all I have. Let me get in here and get this worked out in. Y'all be blessed and never stressed and have a wonderful day. Remember that health is wealth, bitch. Okay. Drop down in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about the commentary, child. Um, all right. Bye.